Good morning, my dear students. Welcome to the physics crash course of class eleven. We will be dealing with the chapter units and measurements today. The topic we are going to discuss is about physical quantities. I am Rohini teacher. Hope you are safe and sound at home. So let us begin the topic with the definition for physical quantity. Physical quantity is a quantity that can be measured. For example, length, mass, speed, velocity, time, etc. Quantities like heat, affection, love, etc. cannot be measured. So these are not examples of physical quantities. You might have heard the term measurement. So measurement of a physical quantity is its comparison with some accepted standard which is called the unit of that physical quantity. Therefore any measurement is a sort of comparison of the physical quantity with the unit of that physical quantity. So a unit is defined as a standard used for measurement of a physical quantity. The representation of a physical quantity is given by Q is equivalent to NU where n represents its numerical value and u is the unit of that physical quantity. For example, length of a table is equivalent to 3 meter. Here 3 is the numerical value and meter is the unit of the physical quantity length. The characteristics of a unit are it should be well defined, it should be of convenient size, it should be easily reproducible, it should not change with time or with physical conditions like temperature or pressure and it should be internationally accepted. Physical quantities are subdivided into two. They are fundamental quantities and derived quantities. Fundamental quantities are the basic quantities using which we can derive all other quantities. While derived quantities are dependent on fundamental quantities. Fundamental quantities are defined as the quantities which do not depend on any other physical quantities for their measurements. For example, mass, length, time and temperature. Derived quantities are those quantities which are dependent on fundamental quantities. For example, area, volume, speed, force, work, etc. Let us take the example of speed. We have already studied that speed S is equivalent to D by T that is distance by time. Here distance and time are fundamental quantities while speed is a derived quantity because Speed is got by dividing two fundamental quantities of distance and time. Here is an example which helps us to distinguish between the base quantities or fundamental quantities and derived quantities. Base quantity is like the brick that is the basic building block of a house whereas Derived quantity is like the house which is built from a collection of bricks. 
hope you have understood the session thank you dears